So we moved uh, Little White first. So uh, moved her into our med pool, lifted the floor, got her in her stretcher. She was moved um, with the lifting beam in our building onto a truck with a crane, brought by that truck out to Lothson, which is the harbor's tug. And then the tug came out, lowered the stretcher down and released her. And then our team and the tug and the truck came back and picked up Little Gray and we repeated that same process. And I know that sounds so much easier than it actually is, but we had an amazing group of people. We had divers, we had um, you know local people who've been helping us, our staff, veterinarians from all over the world here to make sure this went smoothly for these girls. Seeing Little White and Little Gray out here together in, in Kletzvik Bay was an amazing feat this morning. Seeing them breaching together, the sunlight glinting off their backs, um, you know, they won't have felt direct sunlight like that since they were very young animals when they were first taken from the wild. All the sunlight they felt has been through windows in indoor pools. So to see that was just absolutely amazing. Little White and Little Grey really are ambassadors for the 300 other beluga whales that are in human care across the world. You know, it was, what, 1,400 metres out, out here today, the last leg of this journey into the bay. But it's a giant leap forward for how we can care for these animals um, in a natural setting. So we hope to show that Little White and Little Grey thrive in this bay, and we're conducting a welfare study, a research study alongside this whole journey they've been on that will hopefully show that there's a welfare benefit to being in a natural environment like this. We hope that can then persuade others that maybe their beluga whales um, are, might be better off in a different environment and being cared for in a different environment.